forward to a lot. So get right in. I'll get right into it right after a few minutes and let's have fun. Let's have a great time here today for this hour, uh, the last day of the week there in the Philippines. Today is Friday. So let's end the week and go into the weekend with some good vibes. All right. 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 Yes, it's me back. We'll do that. Thank you guys for sharing the live. I also would like to encourage you guys here today, if you can please uh, share this live, let your friends, your family see it. Um, and I'm praying that this will be a blessing in their life. Hopefully, uh, they can hear the right words, what they really need to hear right now, if they're facing anything in their life. So please share the live. Thank you, Mary. Hello, Karen. Mustadore, I'm doing well. Better than I deserve, because what I deserve is eternal death. But by God's grace, I am saved. <laughs> I like that. That's when somebody says, how are you? Oh, I'm doing better than I deserve. <laughs> Thank you for the halo halos. Jovi Warriors, Mara Salma. Boom. Chocolate Hills. One, two, six, six, nine. Big bless. Thank you so much. Oh. But I'm a saying yo. Alrighty. One more minute. Thank you for the Chocolate Hills, guys. Big thanks. Thank you guys. But I'm a Salama. Alrighty. Let me go into prayer. Here we go. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, God, for this time that you have set. Lord, I thank you for this platform that we have right here before us, this Kumu. I would thank you, Lord, for everybody who's here today. Lord, I pray that in this episode or in this session, God, that you can speak to us, Lord. Let what we talk about today be a blessing in each other's lives. Let the things we learn and talk about be a big revelation in our life. And not let us not only be hearers, of your word, God, but let us be doers of your word. Continue to convict us for things we do that are wrong and put us on the right path, God. We trust, put our trust in you, Lord. And we believe that everything works for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose, God. So we hold on to your word and your promises. Let us hold it up like a shield of faith to block the, the fiery arts of the devil, God. I thank you, Lord, for everyone here, Lord, and also, uh, always in always grateful for uh, your sacrifice jesus for what you did for us on the cross where you laid down your own life so that we may not only be saved or so we may not only die but experience eternal life through you christ because uh, without you christ and your sacrifice we would be eternally doomed so we are very grateful for your love and your grace thank you jesus and this we pray in the name of jesus christ amen Hallelujah. So, welcome everybody to Talks with Dre. My name is Andre Brulette. This show is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Uh, the show, of, what this show is about, mainly about the Word of God. Love to talk about uh, scriptures, um, have special guests on the show, have them share their own testimonies, their own life experiences, have them uh, get show their talent that God has given them. And that's what I really love to focus the show on. I also have uh, fun games, challenges, and kumustahan, uh, cuento, cuento, you know, those sort of fun things. Uh, I do ask that everybody who's here today, let's please and share the good, positive vibes, positive vibes along. This, I pray, will be a blessing in everybody's life. So let's stay focused on the topic and God. <clears throat> let's give God our focus because, of course, he is... He needs our focus for us to learn, for him to teach us things and speak to us. So I say thank you. So uh, for this episode, it's a special guest that I'm having on the show. His name is RJ. And bro, do I tell you, I did a little research on him. Um, he's a very talented singer, and I'm very excited 
to have him on the show. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know him. I believe he was featured or he show, he went on the show, uh, the voice of the Philippines. And so anybody here who doesn't know him, uh, perhaps you recognize the show that he was on. I may be wrong. I have to still interview him to see what he's all about. That will be in a few minutes, but first, I do want to see how you guys are doing. Please drop your comments, and I am reading them. By the way, please comment uh, scriptures if the Lord speaks or puts a scripture on your heart. I do want... To go over some scriptures as well in this episode in every episode really um, with you guys and we can both kind of break it down see what it speaks to us and share with one another so throughout this episode feel free anytime to comment below some of your favorite scriptures and uh yeah be looking at them boom 13.3. I love the book of Proverbs. So let's see. Proverbs 13.3. Thank you. James 1.22. <clears throat> okay. So I'm still here in San Francisco today. We went to Napa and it's a big winery place. Boy, it's we went to an actual uh, castle. I believe it was remade. Pero parang so parang totoo at matanda siya. Like as an antique na antique talaga yung uh, castle there. So I was blessed to be able to go there and experience my first wine tasting. Boy, was it delicious white wines and uh, it was my first wine tasting that I got to go to where I got to try a whole bunch of different wines and even some had like a flowery taste some had a sparkly taste some had a more of a harder hardcore dry taste to it so I had fun at the winery um, I do have some photos coming out soon stay tuned for those don't forget to like them and check them out when I post them they're good stuff I, I had fun today with that so anyways um, I do also want to share that on my YouTube channel, I will be soon having some vlogs coming out where uh, I will be upgrading my YouTube vlogs. <laughs> and mainly also want to focus it on the Lord, how I can make certain videos perhaps once a week um, of thing of a topic that the Lord wants, that the Lord speaks to me. And I'd like to have a, you know, a quality video put out there for you guys so that i'm looking forward to on my youtube channel my channel is andre brulette or talks with dre so if you guys could give me a subscribe on my youtube uh, stay tuned for that within the next coming perhaps weeks or months uh, yeah ephesians 317 thank you for that comment ephesians 317 Let me check one thing really quick. Okay. Hey, alrighty. So I think it's about time for my guest to join us. Let's see one second. Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, RJ, my friend, if you're here currently in this live stream watching, please drop a request to join this live stream and I will accept you. So I just, we would just be patiently waiting for RJ. Okay, he's here and he has requested. Here we go. Let's all welcome Otter. Yay, here we go. What up, bro? What's, What's up, up bro? man? <laughs> I'm loving the setup. I like the hey, let's go. We got the, the galaxy lights in the back. Hello, yeah, hello, yeah, everybody. Yeah. What's up, man? That's awesome. Great to meet Do you, well, bro. Hey even nice here on, on Kubu. 
Yes, this is our, for everybody who's watching. This is actually our first time meeting, and yes. uh, I was able to. A lot of people were also like uh, talking what good of you that uh, you yourself, oh, wow. um, you yourself are you know following the Lord and the Lord's working in your life, and I'm very encouraged to hear that. Nice, and, uh, nice. Pleasure. Thank to you. Meet you. Thank you for being open. Likewise, bro. Do yeah, I remember when when I was streaming or uh, not streaming, but I was just going through Kumu maybe like a few weeks ago or like months ago. And then I came across yours and then you started talking about like your faith and sharing um yeah. like your testimony and like your your um your devotion. And I was just really encouraged. I was like, wow, that's awesome. Like using this platform to like just share the gospel. So cool to oh, yeah. salute you, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. God always gives gives us uh, what we have and it's our decision how we use it right um, yes sir he's, style, he, he's blessed me with this platform and i intend to use it for his glory so yep yeah. the best is yet and to I come hear, bro hallelujah amen to that okay i like your i like your mentality um, rj for the, everybody here watching who may have not seen your work or seen what you've done before could you please give uh, yourself an uh, introduction yeah, so hello everybody. Uh, my name is RJ, RJ De La Fuente. And um, so uh, I was born in the Philippines many, many years ago. <laughs> and then I actually moved to the States when I, was, uh, when I was five years old with my fam. So I grew up in California, grew up there, went to school there, uh, worked there. And then uh, eight years ago, that's when I um, moved back to Manila. And uh, I joined the show, The Voice of the Philippines, season one. And right. so that's what right. kind of started um, my career here in the Philippines. And so, yeah, that, ever since 20, 2013, I've been here. Um, my, for my, my immediate family, they're still in the States, in Cali. My parents are there, my, my uh, siblings. And oh, yeah, I've just been here. Yeah, California. Wait, where are you from? Well, I'm, I'm from Hawaii. but Hawaii. Hawaii. And currently here in california i'm here in san francisco oh, we're kind of going around the whole state lately <laughs> nice 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 yeah That's incredible awesome. state out here a lot of big wait is it your first time there buildings it is oh wow time. yes yo enjoy bro have you been to wish... san francisco before yeah the yeah. all the tourist spots like pier i forget the fisherman's wharf or pier something uh, where all the seafood is yeah, there's some yeah, there you go. There's so many things going on there. Like, yeah. and you have the the Ghirardelli building or the square somewhere there, like the chocolate. I don't know if did you've you seen that yet. But... Did you try to swim out to Alcatraz yet? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot like swim for my life. With the prison. <laughs> I'll just float. <laughs> but that's, that's awesome, Mel. Okay, cool. Enjoy, enjoy your time there. So you're currently in the Philippines right now. Yeah, I'm in Manila right now. Quezon City. So hello to all the the Manila peeps watching right now. All the the Quezon City citizens. What's up, guys? Oh yeah, Quezon City. I miss Quezon City. Yeah. So uh, if you don't mind me asking, what made you get into singing? Uh, what sort of influences have you had in your life that put you in that direction? Would you say? Um. Well. Uh. For me, ever since I was younger. Well, my family's very musically oriented so like my titos my titas my cousins my lola actually she was the one that um really really inspired me to start singing she was um an eight time tawag ng tanghalan champion back in her day and so like ever since i was younger like family parties and whenever i was in the states my family would come over and do shows there i would always watch and then yeah it was just music was always part of our family and so that's what really inspired me growing up and then um i think i started singing on the side when i grew up there in in cali like during high school but i was still super um hesitant and very like introverted oh i still am introverted but at the time i still um i was really really shy and so like slowly i would sing or like different shows there i would open for a different artist whenever they would come to um cali and then that's kind of what started um yeah my singing and then when i moved here actually when i when i went back here in 2013 i was supposed to come for my cousin's um why well, i came for my cousin's wedding 
And then like weeks after their wedding, so happened there was an audition for The Voice. And um, yeah. yeah, I auditioned and I got in. And so like before coming in, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. And so like before that, I was really praying because I like before I came here in 2013, um, I was really praying about moving to the Philippines, but I wasn't sure because my family, they were all in the States already. And I had a job. I was living comfortable. Mm-hmm. But then uh, my family here in Manila, they kept on saying, oh, you should try it over here. Come over. Um, try your singing over here. Let's see what happens. But for me, it was always in the back of my head. But then I never took it seriously until um, 2012, summer 2012, when my cousin proposed and he was like, all right, I'm getting married next year. You got to come to the Philippines. So that, like that for me, I was kind of like, I think my sign from God to say, okay, I think it's yeah, time. Because yeah, yeah. I've been praying about it like right. ever since. Uh-huh. And it was always on my heart, but I never really took it seriously. And so, um, yeah, I just took a leap of faith. I just trusted God. I didn't know yeah, what only. was in store, but um, and yeah, now we're here. I'm in Manila. <laughs> that's cool. Doing our thing. I love when you say he was praying about it, and that's when you really pray about those things. Uh, God uh, will work behind the scenes, in the midst, yeah. and things will happen in His right timing. So when you say, yeah, for sure, like bro, you knew in your heart that it was God opening this door for you, and you took a leap of faith, I give you props on that. Because sometimes that's yeah, not bro. Easy. So, it, it's super it's a, it was not easy because bro i grew up in the states so i had n- i had no knowledge of like what to expect in manila i didn't know like what what next week was gonna bring next month oh like my family was um yeah. all in cali and so like it was really it was really a leap of faith and so i just had to yeah. trust him i didn't know like to, for me i kept reminding myself okay i don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring but i know who holds tomorrow mm-hmm. and that's god and so that's what really like got me through that and that's what really encouraged me and so yeah uh, okay cool when you speaking of encouragement do you have um your go-to song that comes to your mind when you want to encourage others perhaps a worship song for the lord Any- oh man that's hard i have a lot <laughs> don't get me started i have a whole playlist <laughs> let's see um, yeah, any, um anyone you choose that you perhaps can share with us i mean right now what I've been listening to is Maverick Maverick City. Have you heard of him? Maverick City. Yeah. And so, oh, bro, check it out. I will send you the links. Um, this song called okay. "Wait on the Lord." Here, well, actually, I could right. play a snippet. I could play a little snippet so you guys could hear. It's called "Wait on the Lord" by Maverick City. I see uh, the comments. Or it's called saying, yes, "Wait on it's You." A beautiful song. Hey, yes. There you go. Come on, where is this? Do you sing that one personally? We haven't yet. It's it's a pretty new song. And so they just released it a few weeks ago. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Yeah, the like lyrics, the, the verses are, are super encouraging. So to everybody out there, super. just wait on the Lord. Perfect timing, whatever you're going through. Um, your life is in the palm of, hand, of his hands. And so he has a perfect timing for you whatever um, situation you're in, uh, whatever you're praying for, whatever breakthrough you're praying for, you just got to wait on him, on his timing. Hold us together. Oh, also, hold us together. Yes. What's up, Ash? Uh, this song by, uh, you know, Torrin Wells? Torrin Wells and her. This song called Hold Us Together. That's also a very encouraging song. So check it out, too. All right. Awesome. Cool. I'm sure uh, many of viewers here are really excited to hear you sing do you have any song that you could possibly sing for us today yeah bro of course there's a song I by um... microphone by the way <laughs> let's go clear crystal the, the sound. kumu setup you got the crystal sound yeah <laughs> thanks <setup>. bro <laughs> the kumu setup but yeah this song that um that i'm gonna do it's one of my favorites for my tito i think i saw stan what's up stan what's up bro oh, um stan. welcome to the stream my friend what's up man yeah, there's a song from my Tito that I really, really love. And whenever, um, before, whenever I was down, whenever I um, was just like not myself and like whenever I felt like defeated or like it was just one of those bad days, um, this song really lifted me up and encouraged me. And so awesome. to everybody who's tuning in right now, um, I don't know what you guys are going through, but I hope 
this song inspires you, encourages you, and speaks to you the way it speaks to me. And so I hope I you guys it. enjoy this. There it Can is. Yes, sir. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me well? Bro, that was incredible. Indeed, God has gifted you with a spectacular voice. Wonderful Thanks, sound. man. I love the way you sing it. And Thanks, bro. What's the name of that song? It is uh, Take Me Out of the Dark by Gary V. So it's one of my favorite songs of his. Out of the dark. Yes, sir. What's up, Stan? How are everybody? Song. What's up, Ash? My, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like whenever, like before, My whenever. Part I, is when you say, "Oh, go, 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 go." No, I just, I just remembered whenever I was down before I'd listen to this, and I just like put me back in in place, and like it would change my perspective, like 